Frank may have led to the death of a 17-year-old boy in Northwest Harris County. The sheriff's office has now charged the teen's friend in his death. He's behind bars tonight and had a court hearing today to determine the bond. Now that shooting unfolding Monday on Stubner Hill near Stubner Airline in Northwest Harris County. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield joining us live tonight with the very latest. Good evening to you, Micah. Hey, good evening. The judge set Reginald Small's bond at $100,000 for his manslaughter charge. He had a court hearing today, but he wasn't there. He was in the mental health unit. No explanation was given as to why he was there. But still, we heard the eyebrow-raising details of what happened during this shooting. What was supposed to be a joke led to a teenager's life being cut short, according to authorities. 17-year-old Dominique McCoy was visiting Reginald Small's home yesterday morning on Studener Hill Drive in Northwest Harris County, according to deputies. The two were said to be friends. McCoy allegedly hid in a bathroom in the home, according to a judge today, and jumped out to scare his friend. But the other 17-year-old reacted and shot McCoy, who died. Smalls was taken into custody the same day as the shooting. Another teen was also arrested, accused of trying to hide the gun. He's already posted his bond. Meanwhile, Smalls remains behind bars. Take a listen to the judge explaining this afternoon why she believed a high bond was necessary. In fact, based upon the very dangerous nature of a 17-year-old being in possession of a firearm, this court will find that a high bond is necessary in order to ensure community safety. In total, Small's bond is $150,000. Since being arrested, he's also picked up a charge for assaulting a detention officer. He's accused of hitting and throwing the officer to the ground. Bond in that case was set at $50,000. At the Harris County Jail, Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.